Section 58 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte Emily and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Captive Dove by Anne Bronte. Poor restless dove, I pity thee, and when I hear thy plaintive moan, I mourn for thy captivity, and in thy woes forget mine own. To see thee stand prepared to fly, and flap those useless wings of thine, and gaze into the distant sky, would melt a harder heart than mine. In vain, in vain, thou canst not rise, thy prison roof confines thee there, its slender wires delude thine eyes, and quench thy longings with despair. Oh, thou wert made to wander free, in sunny mead and shady grove, and far beyond the rolling sea, in distant climes at will to rove. Yet, hadst thou but one gentle mate, thy little drooping heart to cheer, and share with thee thy captive state, thou couldst be happy even there. Yes, even there, if, listening by, one faithful dear companion stood, while gazing on her full bright eye, thou mightest forget thy native wood. But thou, poor solitary dove, must make unheard thy joyless moan. The heart that nature formed to love must pine neglected and alone. End of section 58